Hey guys, Brenny here, and this is another redstone tutorial that I haven't made in a while, but uh, I'm getting more advanced for you guys, because a lot of you guys have asked for it. Um, today we're learning how to make a T flip-flop, which is basically a switch that's a button. So you press the button, the door's open, you press the button again, the door's closed. It'll stay closed until you press the button again, then it opens when you press it again. Obviously, just like a switch, but with a lot of pointless redstone involved. Okay, so what we're going to do is we'll start off with where the door should be at. So we'll put three lines and one out and connect it to the door. Once you've done that, you're going to want to put a block on each side. I don't know why I'm going to say you're going to want to, I don't know. I, I, it's just my style, you know? You guys know me by now. And then you have a block here. I'm doing this trying to get straight to the block part so it's easier. Coming off this you will have a block which goes into there. And a block here. With redstone on top you have to make sure this one has redstone on top because it won't join if you don't. Um, then coming out from this you have one out and two up. Connecting another redstone block. I can't, I want to be able to explain this better for you guys, but it's really just a bunch of, I swear the guy that made this just accidentally made it. He was playing around with blocks and bam, he made it. But yeah, so, but once, see, this is, this is a bit where most people will get to. Once your door's flapping like this from this set out, you're going all right. What you, see, oh, you could remember it like that, have five blocks with a space in between and then this one drops down one okay so once we've done this this is like the first half because it, it looks like it's in two parts really you go all the way across into that one and then coming from here you're gonna have three blocks and then all the way down here you're gonna have two blocks on these three blocks you are gonna put a redstone torch there Redstone torch there, and one there. One there. God, I just keep saying one there, and one there, and one there. And this is where your input goes, here. So if you want to have a button here, you have to put redstone on top if it's a button, by the way. Or under, because if you have it just plugged in, it doesn't really work. Alright, something is wrong. Oh, we didn't connect here. Silly me. We press it, door is open, press it again, door is closed. I think this works by the RS null latch. If you can see, there's a small RS null latch here, and a loop here, and a loop here. These timers press the loops at different. See, it goes that one and then that one, and once that's done, the door will stay open on the RS null latch. I have no clue how this works, so don't ask me for advice, but if you watch this video carefully enough, you can figure it out. And if you want to learn how to get them up, you just do a like staircase thing into the bottom of the button. It has to be under the button. If you could see in there. Wait, I'll just break there. It goes under the button. So when you press it, crap the door opens and this has to go to the side of the door you can't really put it under you could try putting a torch and then having a torch under it but I didn't like that because it opposites it really so yeah uh, at the end of this I'll put a bird's eye view of it so you guys can see a bit better and thanks for watching